Welcome to Omega Open Course. In this video on physics, we will learn an efficient method to deal with dielectrics in a capacitor. We assume that the students watching this video have basic knowledge of capacitor, its capacitance and effects of dielectric. If you do not know that much, please read these basic stuffs before watching this video. We know that when a dielectric is kept in an electric field, the electric field inside the dielectric is less than that in its surrounding. Let us put a dielectric in a region having uniform electric field E0. Let us assume that the electric field inside the dielectric is E. The ratio of E0 and E is known as dielectric constant of the dielectric or the relative permittivity of the material. If the dielectric constant of the dielectric is K, then E0 divided by E is equal to K. This implies electric field E inside the dielectric is external electric field E0 divided by dielectric constant K. Now let us take a parallel plate capacitor with plate area A, separation between plates D and some charge Q on it. We know that charge Q is given by C into V, where V is potential difference between the plates. Therefore, by definition, capacitance C is Q divided by V, and V is electric field E0 into D. Now let us insert a dielectric of a relative permittivity K in the capacitor. The electric field between the plates will now decrease. If this electric field is E, then we know that E is equal to E0 divided by K. The potential difference between plates now is E into D, which is equal to E0 by K into D. This quantity remains mathematically unchanged if we multiply the original electric field E0 by D divided by K. But physically, it means that distance D of electric field inside a dielectric is equivalent to D by K distance of electric field in air or vacuum. In other words, a capacitor with plate area A separation between plates D and dielectric K in it is equivalent to another capacitor of the same plate area without any dielectric but separation between plates just D by K. This concept is very powerful and saves a lot of time in calculations. Let us see a few examples and try to learn the application of this concept. In the first example, let us just find the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor with plate area A separation between plates D and the region between plates filled with dielectric of relative permittivity K. This question is very easy and you most probably already know the answer. But let us approach this question with our concept. The capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is given by A epsilon naught by D. But since the electric field travels this distance in a medium of dielectric constant K, this distance is equivalent to D by K distance in vacuum and therefore the capacitance of the capacitor is A epsilon naught divided by D by K, which is equal to A epsilon naught K by D. This is our answer. Let us look at another example. In this case, instead of the entire region, only half the width of the capacitor is filled with dielectric. The capacitance in this case too is A epsilon naught by D, but the distance here would be different. As the electric field travels D by 2 distance in the medium of dielectric constant K, this distance is equivalent to traveling D by 2K distance in air. For remaining half of the distance, electric field is already in air, so its equivalent distance will remain D by 2. Thus, the capacitance of this capacitor is epsilon naught divided by d by 2 plus d by 2k. Simplifying, we get 2 epsilon naught k divided by d into k plus 1. This is our answer. Now, let us look at this final example. In this case, there are three dielectrics of dielectric constant k1, k2, and k3. All the three dielectrics have thickness d by 2, but while k1 is of area A, other two dielectrics have area A by 2. In order to find the capacitance of this capacitor, we first divide it into two different capacitors, each with area A by 2. As you can see, one capacitor on the left has two dielectrics of dielectric constant K1 and K2, both of area A by 2 and thickness D by 2. Similarly, capacitor on the right has dielectrics with dielectric constant K1 and K3, both of area A by 2 and thickness D by 2. Both these capacitors are connected in parallel. Therefore, if C1 and C2 respectively be the capacitance of the part of the capacitor on the left and right, then capacitance of the capacitor C is C1 plus C2. For capacitor in the left, the electric field travels D by 2 distance in a medium with dielectric constant K1 and D by 2 distance in medium of dielectric constant K2. Therefore, the equivalent distance in A is D by 2 K1 plus D by 2 K2. And therefore its capacitance is A by 2 into epsilon naught divided by D by 2 K1 plus D by 2 K2. Similarly, for the capacitor on the right, equivalent distance traveled by the electric field in air is D by 2 K1 plus D by 2 K3. And hence its capacitance is A by 2 into epsilon naught divided by D by 2 K1 plus D by 2 K3. 
Simplifying, we get capacitance of the capacitor to be a epsilon naught k1 k2 by d into k1 plus k2 plus a epsilon naught k1 k3 divided by d into k1 plus k3. This is our answer. As you can see, this method is very efficient and saves a lot of time in calculations. But in order to use it effectively in examinations, you must practice it in variety of situations. If something is not clear or you want further clarification on the method, post your doubts and queries in comments below. If you want us to explain other concepts, post it in comments below. Share and like the video to help other students find us. Subscribe the channel for further updates. Thank you.